Hey, man. Oh, I'm so sorry to call you so early. I know it's 11.30 a.m. I I just, um, I'm so stressed out about this conference coming up that we have. I just want to see, do you want to go for a drive and just talk? I just love to get some advice. Well, I'm actually out front right now. So if you want to just like come down, I, totally that would, I mean, oh my God, you're the best. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. Thanks. Dude, dude. what's up? Oh, dude, thank you so much. I can't believe it. Yeah. Dude, thanks. Dude, you know not to call me before 1 p.m. I, I know, I know, dude. I'm so, so sorry. I know, I, I just, I'm just so stressed out about this conference. Why are you stressed out? I, I'm, well, we'll talk more about it, but I'm just, I just can't. Why do we have to meet in a car also? Well, I, I don't know. When I, for me, when, I need, when I'm stressed, I just need to drive around and just kind of like get into it. This is a really, really big thing for us. What? And this event. Oh, okay. And so, I mean. Don't you thing. think conferences are sort of like 1980s? Like, I mean, I know that's your generation, but like, don't no. you think that like. 70s, actually. 70s, sorry. Oh. But don't you think that like, like, you know, why not just do a webinar or something? The, we, it just doesn't seem as fun. Like, can you make a fun webinar? Yeah, like the chat stream on the sidebar, like everybody's talking and they're like, hey, like, oh, I want to see that other but we, thing. But we like to do karaoke. Can you do karaoke on a By chat By a webinar? Stream? Yeah, I've yeah. seen that, I've seen that. CSN people, they like to get together. That's why we throw this event, right? And so that. we'll have like, right. I don't know, like, like 4,000 people there. Wow. Yeah. What, are you trying to compete with my conference? No, I'm going out. Come on, nothing can compete, compete with uh, Box Works. Okay, awesome, perfect. Right? But, that would be harder but, to negotiate. Yeah. But, no, okay. I mean, and by the way, everyone's just going to be using Box the entire time. Good. Just to be clear, right? So they're just going to be sharing Constantly uploading files back and forth back and throughout forth, the conference. Annotating. Okay. Right? Using the new capabilities. It's right. going to be awesome. Hey, yeah. how do you know about those new capabilities? Um, I read the, your blogs. Okay, oh, thank, thank you. Right? Should we listen to some, some music? What do you think? I have no problem with you listening to music right okay. now. Okay, all right. Well, I picked out some songs so will be fun but um oh cool abba hey, do you know have you heard abba I, i'm new. a fan all right all right i mean I, i'm totally not into it but like we'll just like listen along maybe i'm fine is that fine you can check it out if you could turn it down though maybe you um can, you can, i don't like abba this loud you can tweet a little bit if you want like you can dance why are you singing is that weird? Yeah, I mean, you're not supposed to just sing along to ABBA. You just listen to them. Oh, what do you do? Just like dive or just yeah. like stand there? Yeah, this is like, you move your head a little bit. Slowly. It's kind of an awkward song. It is. Like, what's topical right now for this conference? Oh you my do a gosh. great job of making your events. So what's timely right you now? You should what's... do political endorsements at the event. Well, I've heard that's the best way to make people happy is to side with certain politicians. Is that yeah. like, do our customers like that? or? I think they do because it, what it does is it shows that you stand for something. Yeah. The question that we, we need to all ask ourselves is, which yeah, which president is going to be better for customer success over the long run? Yeah. And um, and I don't I think it remains to be seen. I do worry that Bernie Sanders, like the whole feel the burn, it's a little too too close to feel the churn. I saw you had some thoughts on Kanye, like yes. I think we're thinking of inviting him to speak. Good. Uh, I, don't no, I think you know, should totally. How speak, do you have him get to, do you, that? Will actually cover your whole conference. It's, right. He usually does six to eight hour tirades. Right, so. and he does he and he he had an org chart of things. I thought customer success was on there. It was. So so I just what do you think I should do? Just be like, hey, dude, uh, can you speak at Pulse? You think he knows what it is? Yeah. No, I've actually heard him talk about it. So yeah. um, last time I was with him, he was actually talking about how um, sort of Gainsight is really the kind of future of managing, you know, your customer relationships, making sure they're highly successful. And Kanye was like, you know, I, I use it all the time for, for my 40 million fans. And it was actually a pretty, it was a pretty good testimonial. That's awesome. And yeah. can you get, uh, so can I get his album too to play at Pulse? I actually can't even find it anywhere. Where do you get it? Uh, you have is to it go, unboxed? It's, no, it's on Tidal. Um, t- t- what's that? Tidal is the future of music streaming okay. uh, for about 47 people. Oh, okay. So, okay, uh, awesome. Um, yeah. Are you one of them? I am not. And the lights are low. <laughs> Looking out for a place to go. Where to feel the right music. Everything. We're in the mood for dancing, I guess. You know, in the, in the 90s, the, the whole model of software was you built a product yep. and you sold that software to the company. Right. And then you sort of could distance yourself. Yeah. It was up to a systems integrator. To, to go make that software successful. It was up to the customer to go make that software successful. But what we learned with companies like Salesforce.com and Workday um, and ServiceNow and, and what we do at Box and all of these other companies is 
we are delivering an ongoing service to our customers. And our customer then always is going to expect that that service is delivered with you know amazing uptime, with amazing performance, with making sure that they're gonna be highly successful. And so it's, it's, it's not only are we directly incentivized to make them successful, but it's, in a, it's, a, it's a fundamental imperative of the business model that you make sure that your customers are successful. And that, that wasn't true in the 90s because all you had to do was build the software, sell the software, and then go and find more customers and do it again. And now that entire feedback loop, that entire end-to-end um, you know, cycle uh, is, uh, is what the, uh, the software company is responsible for. But, but again, I have to make sure this is really, really clear. It's not just what we think of as traditional software companies that have to do with this. It's every company on the planet is gonna have to do this. Every retailer, every life sciences company, every car company, Taco everyone. Bell. Taco Bell it may be the exception. Nancy Queen, feel the beat of the tambourine. This is the old box hood. Yeah, this I'm is I'm in our the hood. box hood. This the old hood. hood. I spent four or five years This is years here. OG box. I had actually a question. Do you yeah. guys do you guys miss Los Altos? Like all the things to do there? Like going do. Yeah. yeah. There's a great pho restaurant. Yeah. Uh, there's an animal hospital, so very convenient Isn't there if like you a, needed like, like pho and like animal surgery. <laughs> this is actually, I think, the you know, one of the best trends for you guys is um, the world is moving. Every, every industry, every business is uh, becoming um, a software oriented business. Yep. So whether you're in retail, whether you're in hospitality, whether you're in transportation, whether rap you're in music. life sciences, whether you're in rap, rap music, music. Yeah. everything is going to have software at the center of it. Yeah. And that's going to transform how all of these businesses and industries work. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's going to rewrite the, the future of, of the economy. And so we're, we're teaching a course where we have uh, folks, uh, the CEOs of Kaiser, of 23andMe, of Nest, wow. of Visa, of Ford, come in and talk about how they are either disrupting their industry or making sure that they're not being disrupted. Um, but if you think about it, this is where you guys play, which is, you know, in this future model, it's not going to be about selling a product to a company and then sort of just leaving that, com- that lo- or selling a product to a company or a consumer and then leaving that consumer alone with your product. You're going to deliver an ongoing service. And so to deliver an ongoing service, you're going to need software that really changes uh, how that relationship works to make sure that you have an incredibly uh, tight and seamless relationship with that customer. So we're deep believers in the, uh, the future of customer success because of how much the world is changing where you're gonna have that integrated relationship with your customer at all times. That is awesome. That's really inspiring. I should work in that area. You should. That actually, it sounds- I would totally start a company in that area yeah. right now. <laughs> you are my fire, the one desire, believe. When I say I want it that Watch out for the way. thing. What does it mean? What about the companies that say, the CEOs that say, this is just BS, all matters is sales. What's going to happen to them? Uh, well, I mean, they won't exist in a, a year and a half to two years. Are you you're kidding about a year and a half to two years? Seriously? No, no totally. I think this, the, 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 you know, these kinds of disruptions happen so quickly. Uh, and particularly because it's been built up over the past decade. So it's not like we're two years into this disruption, right? Yep. We're 10 years into this transformation of moving to a digital and cloud-oriented world. So I would say if, if by now you still have a CEO that doesn't fundamentally understand that the customer is first and delighting them and making them successful and continuing to have that ongoing experience with them is job number one of the company. If you don't have that kind of CEO or leadership team or organization, uh, you know, I, I think I would short you, your stock all day long. I want it that way. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a party. Tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never wanna hear you say I don't hear that that way. way. Okay, so if you, yeah. when you think of uh, SAS, what do you think of? What's the one word? Um, Transformation. Transformation. All right. When you think of box, um, a place to like put, you know, um, you know, odds and ends. Odds and oh, okay. That is that is how these boxes too. All right. When you think customer success, box. Box. I like it. <laughs> Good luck at your conference. I'm telling you, webinars, man. Webinars. webinars. All right. We're gonna do. We're gonna watch a webinar All together right, live. Cool. All right. See All right. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Having the time of my life See that girl, watch that scene
Dig in the dance.